One question we get asked a lot is, what should I use, drip or spray? The answer is it depends. And the spray is a pretty big category to begin with, depending on who you ask. So I brought with me today a button dripper and a variety of things that would fall under the spray category. I've got a fan jet. I've got an Antelco CFD down spray and three spray jets on threads from Antelco, a 90 degree, 180 degree, and 360 degree. Let's take a look at the differences between drip and spray so that you can decide which one is better for you and your application. The factors that go into deciding are how much labor time do you want to spend installing button drippers when perhaps you can install a sprayer and have it cover a large area with just one barb compared to 5, 10, 15 barbs for a button dripper. It could be, what plants are you growing? Are they a water-loving plant who's okay with wet foliage, wet stems, and wet trunks? Or is it a plant that needs dry foliage, water delivered directly to the soil so that all the foliage of the plant remains dry? It could be aesthetic. Does a micro-sprinkler look better than a row of button drippers? At the end of the day, the most efficient way to deliver water is drip irrigation. That's going to be a button dripper, drip line. Those that drip directly into the soil. There's just no avoiding that. That is the most efficient way. The time when spray jets shine, when you need larger areas covered, or when you have water-loving plants like ferns who do need wet foliage. In those cases, the spray jet is clearly the, the advantage. A lot of contractors will use spray jets to save on labor. If you have a bit of landscaping, some shrubs, some flowers, they can install a spray jet to cover a pretty good area and get all that. And it's considerably lower labor time than it is installing a button dripper or two button drippers for each individual plant. Another factor to keep in mind is the size of the root system. It could be difficult to use button drippers to cover something that has a very large root system. And that's the cases where micro sprinklers and spray jets do have the advantage over a button dripper and could even be considered more efficient to some degree since you need so many button drippers surrounding an area that it might make it too inconvenient to work in the area, to manage the landscape in the area, to harvest the plant. I'm gonna let you see them in action so you can take a look at your application and see which one of these would work best for you. This first one here is the Bowsmith Fan Jet Assembly. It comes on a 13 inch stake, 36 inches of tubing, and connects to our main line with just a one quarter inch barb. Punch a hole with your one quarter inch punch, put in the barb, and it's ready to get fed with water. This one has a wide gap spray pattern. That's one of the nice things about the Bowsmith Fan Jets, as they come with a wide variety of spray patterns from 90 degrees to 180 degrees to wide gap to butterfly. On our website, dripdepot.com, you can look in the PDF and see what all the different spray patterns look like. But today, you're gonna get to see the wide gap. We see these used a lot in nurseries. They cover a good area. Quite a few commercial growers will use them because you can sink the spike beneath the foliage. And for water-loving plants, when you're doing propagation, or starts, things like that, can cover a pretty good area for your seed trays. We see these used quite a bit in orchards, and you can see why. The wide gap means you can put the trunk of the tree in the dry spot to keep the trunk dry, which helps reduce the chances for rot, disease, and things like that. Yet at the same time, the great throw distance means it covers the root zone of a tree. This here is the Antelco CFD downspray. You can see by its gentle downspray pattern, and it's good for things like propagation, container plants for larger containers because you can push down on the spike to get it underneath the foliage of the plant. And one nice thing about this one is it can be turned off just by moving the tubing into this clip. This next one is our Vortex Fan Sprayer. We see it used a lot in larger containers like grow bags and underneath tall shrubs. One handy thing about this one is it's adjustable, so you can adjust it for the size of the container, the size of the plant or shrub that it's being used to irrigate. As you can see by the gentle spray pattern on this, this one would also make a pretty good choice for propagation. It's gentle on your seedlings and trays. It's also got a nice aesthetic that we find a lot of people like, especially in small commercial operations. Next up is our spray jet on threads. It comes with a 12 inch stake and a little bit of tubing so you can connect it to your micro tubing. This one here is a 90 degree one, and these are handy because they come in 90, 180, and 360 degree sprayers. So they can be used in a variety of spray applications. The 90 degree ones, are good to use in corners. 180 is good, let's say you were doing a small lawn with it. You could put it against the back edge of the lawn and have it spray 180 degrees in. And the 360 can be placed in the center of something that you want to water. And that a contrast with what you've seen with the spray jets. We're just gonna try a little half gallon per hour button dripper so you can get an idea of the major difference between drip and spray. Drip is generally gonna be the most efficient option when you wanna deliver water directly to the roots and thus the soil of a plant. 
Installing a bunch of these could be pretty labor intensive when you want to use a lot of drippers, but you don't want to have to individually push the barb into the tubing for each and every one. You can use what's called Dripline. Dripline has pre-installed drippers at evenly spaced intervals, 6 inches, 9 inches, or 12 inches. And we already have some in this bed. The water dripping out of this looks a lot like a dripper, and that's because it is. Inside the tubing here, in line, are what would be what you would think of as a standard everyday dripper. It's not a button, obviously, it's not button shaped, but it works the same, puts out about the same amount of water, but it's already all pre-installed in a line for you, so you don't have to do it yourself. This is the most efficient way to get a bunch of drippers installed for rows of plants or when you want to make it into a ring. If you found this video helpful, give us a like below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to use the comments. We're active in our channel and be more than happy to answer any questions you have.